Hare Krishna. Learn to be comfortable with feeling uncomfortable. Normally, none of us likes discomfort. And whenever we feel any kind of discomfort because of loneliness, overwork, stress, anger, worry, at that time we try to move away from the discomfort, get rid of the discomfort. Unfortunately, often this attempt to get rid of the dis of discomfort gets us into trouble. It puts us into illusion. How? By making us do things which we would otherwise never do. For example, somebody who is a habitual uh, uh, alcoholic. Now they may resolve not to drink alcohol, but when they feel discomfort, then their mind prompts them that the, the inability to tolerate the discomfort makes them seek a quick escape way. And based on their past habits, they just get dragged towards that particular behavior. And thus they end up in terrible trouble. So, uh, now we may find ourselves oversleeping, overeating, over net surfing, over TV watching, all because of the unwillingness to tolerate some discomfort, say some boredom, some loneliness, some worry, some stress. So, we need, if you want to grow, we need to learn to tolerate discomfort. We need to become comfortable about feeling uncomfortable. How can we do that? By understanding that this is just the nature of the world. In the Bhagavad Gita, 9.33 Krishna says Antyam asukam lokam imam prapya bhajaswamam This world is temporary and there is no there is no real happiness in this world. There is a lot of distress in this world. Anityam asukam lokam Therefore imam prapya Now that you are in this situation don't try to change the nature of the world. You can't change it. But bhajaswamam Offer your consciousness to me in devotion. So while we are having that discomfort, it's just a part of being in this world. Just like in a hospital, a patient who is admitted naturally will experience some pain. Now, of course, that does not mean that pain is desirable, nor does it mean that uh, pain is uh, welcomable. Certainly not. But pain is not unnatural. Pain is not catastrophic in a hospital. Yes, while the patient is getting healed, the pain has to be has to be endured. Similarly, while we are in this world, discomfort is just a feature of life in the world. And when we learn to become comfortable with being uncomfortable, that means we don't consider discomfort such an unbearable, unnatural thing that we want to escape from it at all costs. Then we can find out a healthier way to deal with discomfort. Instead of looking at some materialistic escape way, uh, we can look for spiritual elevation as a means to deal with discomfort. When we practice Bhakti Yoga diligently, by such practice we grow till we eventually become elevated, till we eventually become uh, our spiritual absorption in Krishna acts like an inner shock absorber that helps us to tolerate discomfort. And thus, during that transition process, when we learn to tolerate discomfort, not unbearable discomfort, but bearable discomfort, then that's the way we can heal. Just like a person who had, a, say, a fracture, and now they're trying to recover the use of their limbs. And they have to accept some discomfort in terms of, say, doing some exercise like moving their fingers, moving their arms, moving their hands, moving their limbs. Now, if they don't become comfortable with being uncomfortable, comfortable means that accepting it, not resenting it, not running away from it, but accepting it. To the extent they become comfortable, to that extent they can exercise and then they can recover. Similarly, the extent we become comfortable, willingly accepting that discomfort is a part of life, to that extent, we can grow spiritually, heal spiritually, and ultimately attain spiritual consciousness, 
that is forever free from all discomfort. Thank you. Hare Krishna.